Michael, I've known you since you were a child. Please. The first trailer for Morbius finally dropped earlier this week, giving us our first glimpse at Jared Leto's living vampire. But what got us most excited was the surprise came at the end from none other than Michael Keaton's Adrian Toomes, better known as the Vulture, last seen taking on our favourite web slinger in Spider-Man Homecoming. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? Not only does this mean the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Sony's Marvel Universe are connected, but it is very likely the infamous Sinister Six are coming. But who are they? And what does it mean for future films? Let's find out. In the comics, the Sinister Six are a team of villains comprised of Spider-Man's greatest enemies, originally assembled by Dr. Octopus. Over the years, there have been numerous teams featuring various Spidey foes, but the general goal always remains the same, to swash the web-slinger once and for all. They have so far never made a leap to the silver screen, despite several attempts. Seller. In 2013, director Drew Goddard, best known for The Cabin in the Woods, was attached to write and direct a Sinister Six film set in Sony's Amazing Spider-Man universe, but those plans were put on hold when The Amazing Spider-Man 2 disappointed at the box office. However, in 2018, Goddard and producer Amy Pascal announced they will be pressing ahead with the film, with renewed confidence following the success of Venom and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And now following the appearance of Michael Keaton in the Morbius trailer, we are convinced they have begun building their team of villains, featuring characters from both the MCU and Sony's universe. So who will be in the lineup? To take a guess, we think it will feature Tom Hardy's Venom, Keaton's Vulture, Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home, Jared Leto's living vampire Morbius, Shocker and Scorpion, both of whom popped up in Spider-Man Homecoming. Other villains who have come in the MCU who could feature in the lineup includes the Prowler, the Chameleon and Tinkerer. Adding to this, Sony has other villain films in production, including a Craven the Hunter movie, as well as a film starring Black Cat and Silver Sable, and there's nothing to stop them making a Doc Ock or Sandman film as well. So yeah, there are plenty of options for the Sinister Six lineup, and we can't wait to see what comes of it. Echolocation. It's been overpowering urge to consume blood. 